All right, welcome everybody. Uh, this uh, in this video, we're going to talk a, a quick introduction to the slope uh, slope deflection method, and this method is uh, generally used to figure out uh, what reactions are on um, indeterminate structures. So let's say we had a beam, and it was fixed here at A, and it was fixed here. Uh, so this is A, this is B, and you know there's whatever loading. We don't know what the loadings are, but anyway, here you have six unknowns. Um, so this is obviously indeterminate, and we can use uh, the slope deflection method uh, to figure out what these reactions could possibly be. Um, um, in your classes, you should have an equation something like this. You should have seen it before. 2EI over L is equal or times 2 theta I plus theta B or theta J um, minus 3 times psi of I times J uh, plus any fixed end moments. Right? And I and J, basically, they uh, correspond to the ends of the member. So in this case, we had member AB. If I were to cut near the joints and then redraw redraw um, this, this member, right, this member A, what am I doing, A, B, um, I'd have a moment on the A side and a moment on the B side. And this would be M, A, B, right? IJ would be AB because it's on A, so that's why A comes first. And then on this side, it'd be um, MBA, right? Because it's on side B of the member. So it's flipped, MBA. And theta, these thetas, are the slopes at these points. And we these are generally um, the thetas and the size here are, are what we don't know. Um, but we can figure out what these are um, to solve for the moments at the ends of these members. And these moments later on will give us, um, you know, the reactions at A and B or whatever support you're looking at. Uh, this psi here is a chord rotation. So if any of these members on a structure we're studying rotates, not deflects, rotates, uh, then there's a rotation. Uh, this I think is usually given in radians. Um, so if we had, let's say, uh, let's say we had an indeterminate frame, right? And I and I applied uh, a 30. Uh, let's let's see some force P here, right? This this uh, this beam would do something like this, right? Right. It would um, member A. B, well, let's let's just label it first. A, B, C, D. Uh, remember, A actually rotates. The chord rotates. Um, so by chord, I mean the point from here to here. That's usually a straight line, right? So if if this thing rotates, then that means this distance or this angle is psi. Okay, same thing here. You have you have this point and you have this point, it's chord, meaning the point from those two points, uh, or the line from those two points. This angle here is psi. That's the chord rotation, okay? Uh, normally that only happens in frames, um, sometimes in beams, but not too often, or at least not in the problems we study, right? Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is sign convention. So. If you, let's say you cut this AB, you cut this member AB, um, sign convention for the slope deflection method when you're drawing these moments is clockwise for the ends of the members, always. This is clockwise, this is clockwise. Um, if you had a frame, uh, you'd probably set up a, a local coordinate system, right? So if you had this frame, um, and I and I cut it, let's say here and here, here and here, here and here. And I'm looking at these members. I have this member, I have this member, and I have this member. Uh, the moments at the ends are always clockwise. This is this is the sign convention we use clockwise. Cl 
counterclockwise. And these these the sign convention um, is pretty um, consistent with a lot of the structural or fundamental of structural analysis textbooks and whatnot. So remember the sign conventions for these moments, the moments you're trying to figure out uh, with this long equation is always clockwise, okay? Now, you also have these joints. I didn't I didn't draw these joints here. Joints have a special sign convention. Their sign convention depends on the member sign convention. So in this case for this frame, if we had, let's see, let me draw this exploded uh, frame again. You have this, you have these three pieces and then you have this joint, you have this joint, then you have this uh, fixed end here, then you have this fixed end here, right? This is A, B, C, and D. All right, so if I said member A, B, uh, the moment here is clockwise. So this is M, A, B, and M, B, A. That means on joint B on this side, it's going to be, you know, when you cut something, the other side is always equal and opposite. So this moment is going to go this way, and that's moment B, A, right? And on member B, C, you draw your sign convention. Um, or your uh, moments at the end of the members, there's always they're always clockwise. Um, and again, at joint B on on member B C, you have this this um, moment going clockwise. So that means on this joint, the moment's going to be going counterclockwise, right? Equal and opposite, equal magnitude, opposite direction. So this is M uh, B C. Uh, same thing for C. This is going clockwise. This is going to go uh, counterclockwise on member C D. This is, you know, clockwise. Um, so you have equal and opposite. That's going clockwise. That means this is going to go counterclockwise. Uh, and this is um, M. Both of these are M, C, D, the moment at C, D. Uh, same thing for this joint. This is going clockwise. This is going to go counterclockwise. And both of these are M, D, C. And up here, this is M, C, B. Okay, so whenever you have a beam or a frame, these are the sign conventions used for the members and the joints. Now if you had a beam, if you had a beam and it was fixed here, it was fixed here, there was a roller here, there's a roller here, uh, let's call this A, B, C, D. I can cut this beam here and here, here and here, here and here, and I can draw this joint A here's joint A, then I have span AB, AB, or sorry, AB, and then I have joint B, which is this, right, then uh, span uh, BC, then I have uh, joint C, and then you have CD, I'm actually going to draw it down here because I'm running out of room, C, D, and then you have the fixed end, uh, D, right? Here, uh, your again, your sign convention for members are always clockwise. So clockwise, 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 clockwise. And for the joints, here it's equal and opposite, right? This is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. Uh, same thing at the joints, you have B going this way, so that means the moment here is going to go that way. Uh, same thing for here, equal and opposite. Um, here it's going clockwise, that means this is going to go counterclockwise. On, on the right side of this joint C, uh, this is going clockwise, so that means um, on this side um, it's going to go counterclockwise. And same thing here, you have this, and then you have this, right? So this is kind of the sign convention we use for slope deflection. Um, and in the next several videos, actually many videos, we'll do um, a couple different examples. I believe two beams in one frame. All right, so see you in those.